Let's get into it. This lesson is about the voice of Yah. So let me get that in Job 33, 14, 18. Yahweh is the true power, right? He only speaks to us, what? Once or twice in our life because he's omnipresent, right? So that means that he's everywhere, right? But he only speaks to us once or twice. Let me get that. Job 33, 14. For Yah speaketh once, yet twice. Yet man perceiveth it not. Right, right, right. Keep going. In a dream, in a vision of the night. So that's how he comes to us. He comes to us in a dream or in a vision in the night, right? Mm -hmm. When deep sleep falleth upon man. You see that? So he speak to us, right? Once or twice in our life. But in a dream, when deep sleep fall upon us. Right? Go ahead. In slumbering upon the bed. Right. Then... He opened the ears of men. He opened your ears, right? Mm -hmm. And sealeth their instruction. Right. And sealeth your instruction, your duty, your whole duty of man. Ecclesiastes 12, 13, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. 17. Mm -hmm. That he may withdraw man from his purpose. That he will withdraw you from your worldly purpose, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he will take you away from what you thought was your purpose. Mm -hmm. And he will lead you to what he wants your purpose to be now, right? And hide pride from man. And he will hide pride. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because in your old ways, that old man probably was prideful. Mm -hmm. And he thought he had a certain purpose in life. Mm -hmm. But the most high, he only come to us one or twice. And he come to us in our in a dream, right? Right. And he will show us our purpose in life, right? Right. Let me get... Uh, uh, yeah, 18. Mm -hmm. He keepeth back his soul from the pit. You hear that? He keep it back your soul from the pit when he come to you, if you listen. And his life from from perishing by the sword. Hmm. From dying, from dying by the sword, from dying anyway. If you listen to the Most High, he mm. will save you. Wow. Right. Let me get that in uh, Job chapter 12, verse 28. Start at 28 to 30. You have a voice is so powerful, right? In our corner mind, it sounds like thunder, right? Right. The only way for us to hear his voice, right, is by stimulatives, visions, and dreams. That's the only way that we can hear his voice because it's so powerful, right? Right. Go ahead. Call again. Uh, John chapter 12. Oh, John. Let's mm. say Job. Sorry. My bad. If I did say it. You can start at 28 to 30. John 12, 28 to 30. Father, glorify thy name. Then came there a voice from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. Read that again. Father, glorify thy name. Mm -hmm. Then came there a voice from heaven. Then a voice came from heaven, right? Saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. Mm -hmm. So that's the most high saying, I will glorify it and I will glorify it again. Right? Go ahead. The people, therefore, that stood by and heard it said that it thundered. Others said an angel spoke to him. So you, you see that? Yeah. So the most high voice sound like thunder. The people thought it was thunder. It was like, man, it got to be an angel. It sound like thunder, you know? Right. You know what I'm saying? Because his voice is so powerful, right? Right. The only way we can understand, like like I said, what? Is by stimulus, dreams, and visions. That's mm -hmm. it. So when we hear his voice, and we hear his voice in our carnal flesh, it's going to sound like what? Thunder. We ain't going to understand it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So that's why he only speaks to us once or twice in our life, because his voice is so powerful. And when he say go, he ordained what he say. So if he say something to you, it's going to happen. So that's why he can't constantly come to you and speak to you, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yahushai answered and said, This voice came not because of me, hmm. but for your sakes. That was 30. Mm -hmm. Let me get Proverbs chapter 1, 23. To hear Yahweh's voice, we must receive his correction, right? And turn away from what we think is right and do what he say is right, right? right. And what he say is right is what? Keeping his laws. That's right. That's the only way you will hear his voice. So you got these people in a, in a church. What they say? That they talk to uh, Jesus. They heard his voice. They heard God's voice. But they keep none of his laws. You know who they hear? 
They hear Satan. Mm -hmm. They don't hear the most high voice. All they hear is Satan. Because if you're not keeping his laws, he's not talking to you. Let me get that. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold. I so it says turn you, servant. It said turn you at my what? Reproof. That's your, at, turn you at my correction, man. This is how you go hear him. You got to turn to his correction. Go ahead. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. Then if you turn to his correction, he going to do what? Pour out his spirit to you. Hallelujah. You hear that? Mm -hmm. I will make known my words unto you. You going to understand what he's saying now. It's not going to sound like thunder. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Right. The reason why you don't hear his voice is because what? He called upon you. And you refuse. You don't want his correction. You feel me? That's why you don't hear his voice. Hmm. Go ahead. But ye have set at naught all my counsel. You never go to his counsel. You ain't kept none of his high holy days, his Sabbath, nothing. Hmm? He said, all you have to do is accept my correction and you will hear my voice and you will be blessed. But we do what? We don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? We turn our back on him. Oh, we can't do that. You can't keep them laws. That's what we want to do. Right. We want to do what man do. Go ahead. And with none of my reproof, I also will laugh at your calamity. Right. Where you at? 20, 26. 26. Go ahead. I will mock when your fear cometh. Right, right. 27? Yeah, keep going. To already 33. Okay. When your fear cometh as desolation. So you see that? He said he will mock at you. Read that again before we can understand that. I will. I also will laugh at your calamity. So now when you're trying to come to the most high, what he will do? He will laugh at your calamity. This is why he only comes to us once or twice. Right. Because we don't listen to him. And then when it gets all bad. When all said and done, what we do? We want to get on our knees and pray. But we ain't kept none of his correction. We ain't kept none of his reproof. We kept none of his laws. So this is what he going to do to you when you come to him and uh, you ain't kept none of his correction. Mm. This is what he going to do to you when you said the laws is done away with, right? This right here is what he going to do to you. Read that. I also will laugh at your calamity. He said going to laugh at your calamity. When you going through something, he going to laugh at you, huh? I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear come, he going to mock you. When you, when your fear come, he going to mock you. I don't want to say what situation you in, but people know what situations. All the different, all the different situations you could be in. He going to laugh at you. Mm -hmm. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, hmm. when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me. When all hell break loose, then you go call upon them. But when stuff not working out, then you go call upon them. When you in a bad situation, then you go call upon them. Hmm? Go ahead. But I will not answer. He said what? But I will not answer. That's why our prayers don't get answered, right? right. Go ahead. Does he don't know? No. They shall seek me early. But they shall not find me. Hmm? He said, you will seek him. Please help me. Help me in this situation. I need food. I need to uh, feed my kids. Huh? But he just showed you how to do it. He showed you to grow your own food. He showed you to uh, prepare. But you didn't want to do it. You laughed at him. I ain't doing that. The government going to save me. My government going to save him. When that government is gone, then what? Then you going to call upon them. And then what he going to do? Laugh at you like you a fool. For they hated knowledge. They hated knowledge. What's knowledge? Wisdom and understanding. His laws. And did not choose the fear of the Lord. The beginning of wisdom is fearing the Lord, right? They would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. None of his counsel. They didn't want to keep none of his laws, despises, reproof, everything. They don't want correction. You try to tell somebody like, man... Uh, 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 you supposed to do this. You supposed to do that. You supposed to keep the laws. You supposed to keep the Sabbath. Sabbath. You supposed to keep the Passover. Don't keep no Easter. Ah, uh, we ain't doing that. All them, all those old laws. Those laws done away with. We ain't doing that. You feel me? They therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way. 
They will eat the fruit of their own way. What's their own way? Destruction. And be filled with their own devices. Hmm. Hmm. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whosoever hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Right, right. So let's see what that turning away is. Let's see how we turn away our ears from the Most High. Let me get that Proverbs 28, 9 and 10. Because Yahweh's voice is his laws, right? Yeah. But what it just said in 22. Did you hold that on 22? No. Oh. It said the turning away, right? Yeah. So we will see what the turning away is. The turning away is what? Let's go back to Psalms. Okay. That's all right. Um, Proverbs. Yeah, Proverbs 28 and 9. Right. Proverbs 28 and 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. You hear that? Turn away your ears from hearing the law. Even his prayer shall be abomination. Your prayers will be abomination. He's not going to hear your prayers. If you're not keeping the laws, if the laws is done away with, he's not hearing your prayers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's that simple, right? Yeah. Right. So we understand that, right? Yeah. Right. So the only way to hear his voice is how? By keeping his laws because the laws is what? The voice of the most high. Right. And he put them in these books. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He put it in the law. The Torah, right? Right. That's his voice, keeping his laws. Let me get Psalms 103 and 20. You have to say. Mm, I'll just say that's right. Psalms. So, and when the voice of Yahweh is speaking to us, it's commanding us to keep his commandments. Mm -hmm. right? right? But if a voice comes to you and telling you something else, you got to know that's Satan. Mm -hmm. If a voice coming to you and saying, ah, you ain't got to keep them commandments, do this, do that. That's Satan. Mm -hmm. But if the voice coming to you and saying, keep my commandments, do this, don't sin, don't do that. Mm -hmm. That's called correction. Mm -hmm. That's called reproof. So what you got to do? Accept that reproof, right? Mm -hmm. And you got to follow that voice because that voice is correcting you. But if a voice comes to you and tell you, man, go ahead and do that, ain't nothing going to happen. That's Satan. Mm -hmm. Right, let's get that song. Psalms 103 and 20. Bless the Lord. Yeah, his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Even the angels, what? Hmm. Hmm? The angels hearken unto what? The, the voice of the of Lord. Lord. Mm -hmm. And his voice is his laws. But simple old man hmm. who's weak and perish, hmm? hmm? Oh, the laws is done away, but you ain't got to keep them laws. Hmm. That's it, honey? Yeah. Go to uh, uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 10. So we got to keep these laws. Mm -hmm. We can't listen to what man said, right? Mm -hmm. Because even the angels hearkened unto the voice of the Most High. Even the angels listened to the Most High and kept his order, kept his charge, kept his laws, kept his correction, right? But man ain't got to do it. That's crazy, man. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 30 and 10. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments. Right. So that tell you right there what? The voice of the Lord thy God is what? The voice of the Lord thy God is his commandments, mm -hmm, man. Mm -hmm. You not If you're saying that the commandments is done away with, you're not hearing his voice. You don't hear this voice. You, you listen to Satan. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Right. To keep his commandments and his statutes. Which are written in this book of the law. Look, I just said that. In the book of the law. The Torah, right? Mm -hmm. And if thou turn unto the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy soul. The letter. Right, right. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good on that. But that right there show you, right, that you both are hearken unto the voice of the Lord. And the voice of the Lord is keeping his commandments. That's right. Let me get that in Jeremiah 7 and 23. Put yourself on that. Yeah, so we got to keep his commandments. That's the only way we'll hear his voice. His voice is telling you to keep the laws. His voice is telling you what? To keep the Passover that's coming up. His voice is telling you to keep the Sabbath. His mm. voice is telling you to keep new moon. That's his voice. His voice ain't telling you, oh, you ain't got to do that. His voice ain't telling you that uh, all that's done away with. That's Satan, man. Yeah. Hmm? That's the one that came to deceive the world, and he already deceived the world. Got you keeping some old fairy tale day, Christmas. Yeah. He deceived the whole world already, man. Y'all waiting for some something that already didn't happen. <laughs> he been here. Y'all waiting for some. It's over already, man. Wow. Go ahead. 
Jeremiah 7 and 23. But the thing, this thing commanded I them, saying, Obey my voice. Huh? It said, What? Obey his voice, right? And I will be your God, and ye shall be my people. And walk ye in all the ways that I've commanded you, that it may be well unto you. And walk in all the ways that he commanded us. It's yeah. his commandments. Yeah. That's how we will hear his voice, huh? Yeah. So nobody could change this. That's right. The, your pastor can't change this. Man can't change this. They can't change and say this to O. Oh, let me get that in Malachi 3 and 6. Nobody could change this. Nobody could change this word and tell you that the laws are done away with. Nobody could change that. Man can't change it, man. None of the prophets in the books. Yeah, how was Shaq ever change it? Mm -hmm. Malachi. So, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Malachi 3 and 6. For I am the Lord. I change not. Right, right. So he said, I am the Lord, the creator of all things. He changed not, but he will change for simple man. Uh -uh. Come on, y'all crazy. Go ahead. For uh, ye sons of Jacob uh, will be consumed. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Exactly, right. So let me get that in Matthew 5.18. Okay. Wish you wasn't finished on that. Yeah. Let's go with Matthew 5.18. Sure. Matthew 5. In 18. Matthew 5 18. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass. Right. So have heaven and earth pass? No. Go ahead. One jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. Right. So nothing could pass from the law. We got to keep the law. Heaven and earth haven't passed away. Not one jot or one till the smallest thing in the law, keeping your beard, rare fringes, you have to keep it. You got to keep his commandments because even Yahweh kept his commandments. Let me get that in uh, John chapter 15, verse 10. Even Yahweh kept his commandments. So you mean to tell me we ain't got to keep his commandments? Hmm? Mm -hmm. When Yahweh just told us not one jot or tittle should be taken from the law? Hmm? So what that mean? That we got to keep the law, right? Mm hmm. Go ahead. Let me get that. John fifteen ten. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments. You hear that? Mm -hmm. Yahweh said, "What? Even have I kept my Father's commandments and abide in His love and abided in His love." What that tell you, man? Mm -hmm. Yahweh kept His commandments. Right. We out now them, them laws done away with. <laughs> well, you ain't. You can't keep them laws. Huh? Yeah, how was I kept them laws? Yeah. So wouldn't that tell you that you got to keep the laws too? Yeah. Don't you, uh, uh, Matthew 5, 48, be ye therefore perfect like your father in heaven? Yeah. Huh? So we got to be like our father in heaven, right? right. And he in heaven. So we got to be like him, right? right? Let me get Acts 24, 14. Paul kept the commandments. Right? If Paul kept the commandments, huh? so people can't say, oh, Paul was talking against the commandments. Paul didn't keep the commandments. If Paul kept the commandments, that means we got to keep the commandments, right? Right. Acts 24, 14. But this I confess unto thee. Just Paul. He said, what I he said, what? Confess? Mm -hmm. That means like Paul right now is telling the truth, right? Mm -hmm. That after the way which they call heresy, so worship I the God of my fathers. Worship the God of his fathers, right? Because Paul was what? Benjamin, right? The God of his father, because he was an Israelite, right? That's right. He worshiped the God of his fathers, his forefathers, right? Let's That's go. Right. Let's see what you're talking about. Believing all things that are written in the law and in the prophets. He said he believed in all things. Paul was keeping the law. He believed in, in all things that was written in the law and the prophets. Right? Mm -hmm. That's why the, that's why Yahweh said, think not that I come and take what the law or the prophets. I just came to fulfill. He came to fulfill what? His part of him suffering. Mm -hmm. He didn't come to take away no law. Mm -hmm. Yahweh kept the law. Paul kept the law. Let's get a piece up on that. Let me get uh, Romans chapter uh, 2 verse 13. Romans 2 13. For not the hearers of the law are just before Yahweh. But no. the doers of the law shall be justified. This is Paul saying the doers of the law is justified, man. <laughs> Not just the hearers. Oh yeah, I, I hear it. I read the book. I read the book, but you ain't doing nothing in it. Yeah. 
The doers is justified, right? Let me get another one. Let me get uh, Romans uh, thir uh, chapter 3, verse 33. Romans 3, 33? Mm -hmm. I mean, 31, my bad. All right. Romans 3, 31. Do we then make void the law you hear that? through faith? Do we make void the law just because we have faith? I have faith. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's what they say. All the time. It was like, but God forbid. <laughs> yeah, we, we established, established the law. <laughs> that's right. what we're doing now. We're right. establishing the, the law. law. Right. It's like we don't make void the law because we have faith and you have a shot. We right. have faith, but we establish the law. We are doing it. This right. is what's established. This is what we do. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, Revelation fourteen twelve. Go to that. Clear as what we all we we all should be doing this. Revelation fourteen twelve. Uh, we establish the law just because we have faith. The law ain't void because the law is what the voice of the Most High. That's right. That's right. Faith is what Yahweh shot because right. He's that Lamb. That's right. right? Go ahead. Revelation fourteen twelve. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. We the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh. So we supposed to be keeping the commandments of Yahweh and what else? And the faith in Yahweh Shah. And the faith in Yahweh Shah. Plain and simple. Yeah. So we must have faith in Yahweh Shah and keep the law of Yahweh, man. Let me get uh, uh, Revelation 22 14. Plain because this is what we want. Mm -hmm. This is what we want. Revelations uh, 22 14. Revelation 22 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Right. Blessed are they that do his commandments. For what will we want? That they may have right to the tree of life. So we can have right to the tree of life. So that tell you what? We got to do his commandments. And may enter in through the gates of the city. Yeah, so I'm trying to get up in that city. Them other fools talking about you can't keep the commandments. We're not keeping the commandments. That's the they old. They are without. <laughs> yeah, they without. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the old. You know what I'm saying? Like, they crazy. When the most high say he changed not. When, uh, oh, we follow uh, Yahweh Shah law. When Yahweh Shah say he can't do the will of his father, they off the hook. And then they sit around and say, oh, God, speak to me. Jesus, speak to me. How? When it says that he don't even hear your prayers. He said even your prayers will be an abomination. Didn't we read that? Yeah. He said even your prayers will be an abomination right. if you're not keeping the laws. Right. So yeah. how are they speaking? To, who's speaking to you? Satan. Like they don't know that? <laughs> The, the uh, wicked angels Jesus speak to, speak to me. That's oh, Satan. Okay. Yeah, that's why you got that Jesus attitude when yeah, we have yeah. it. Yeah, that's Satan. And then you look, you uh, 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 you you know a man by their fruit. You look at their fruit. Their fruit is spoiled. You be like, this is what Jesus did for you? Man, I'm cool with him. I'm cool with Jesus. Yo, Jesus. Yeah, that's your Jesus. You keep him because, man, he, is, he ain't cool. Uh -uh. You know? Right? So anybody telling you not to keep the laws... Is deliberately right telling you not to listen to the voice of the Most High. Mm -hmm. So you can't, you can't uh, listen to them. Oh Jesus, people that still go to church and give all their money to the pastor, they some fools. Right. You know what I'm saying? We can't be worried about no fools. They just gonna be fools forever until they die, until they see the truth, right? Mm -hmm. And today in that pit, we ain't trying to go to that pit, mm -hmm. right? They will be in that pit. We we ain't trying to go to that pit. The easiest way to get out that pit is by keeping His commandments. We see this over and over and over through, throughout the whole scriptures. Every time we fail to keep the most high commandments, what happened? We got put in a, a, a servitude. We mm -hmm. became slaves because we didn't keep his commandments. So you mean to tell me everything changed now, today? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Everything changed here in hell? So everything just changed. This is a test for us to find out how to get out of here, man, mm -hmm. and to be saved because this is hell. Mm -hmm. Hell is just a state of being. Like, this is a terrible state of being, right? So we trying to figure out how to get out of here because we keep coming back to the same awful, evil place. Mm -hmm. So how can we change this whole land? How can we change earth if we keep the most high commandments? Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's what he went for us to do. He went for that small remnant. He went for that 144,000, and he went for that small remnant of people, right? So we could rule, so we could take over the kingdom, right? That's why the kingdom is crumbling because we waking up slowly. That's right. So we can't listen to these fools that tell us that we can't uh, keep uh, uh, keep the laws mm -hmm. because look what look 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 what's going on. Mm -hmm. Look what not keeping the laws got the black community right. killing each other in the streets, on drugs, third class citizens. Yeah.
So you mean to tell me this is what your white Jesus did? You and they tell you I'm saved and I'm blessed. Mm -hmm. You saved and, and highly favored. Yeah, and you saved, highly favored, and blessed, but you living in poverty. So that's that's your blessing. I gotta do something different. I can't deal with y'all. Y'all all fools. And a lot of times when it says um that he'll come to you like in your dream, right? Once or twice. Right, maybe on a deeper level, that might be the brothers who might you might come across once or twice, right? And you in your deep sleep walking around here, and they've come to you to bring this truth to you, but you ignore it, right? You right, know, right. that's the voice, too. If you bring in the truth to somebody once or twice, right? After that, it's kind of like, come on now, right? You know, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they want to buck up against it, yeah, they want to fight it, so, yeah. so it ain't gonna keep happening, you're not gonna keep. Uh, bringing it to them, bringing it to them, because they're not, they're not uh, listening. And sometimes that'd be an angel leading your steps. Yeah. So the angel led you to your steps to a place where people speaking the truth. And uh, uh, you didn't hear it. You That's didn't right. want to hear it. You yeah. want to forbear it because you stuck in your ways. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people like us, they stuck in their ways and they want to act funny style. Yeah. And especially a lot of, uh, just like in, uh, what's that? Uh, Deuteronomy 28 verse 54. That we have an evil eye towards our brother. You want to read it? Yeah. yeah. So that's why, you know what I'm saying? The most high, he come to you once or twice in a lifetime. He comes to you in dreams. He sent angels to you. But if you don't listen to these angels, you feel me? Yeah. You go miss the message. Yeah. You go miss salvation. Is that it? Uh, Deuteronomy 28, I think it's 54. 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate his eyes shall be evil towards his brother right. and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Yeah, so this is one of the curses that we have. So a brother might walk by the camp and he'll have an evil eye towards his brothers. He will, he thinking that they ain't doing nothing, but he don't know that those is men of the Lord, you know? Then the sister, she don't like men, black men, period, no more. You know what I'm saying? So she ain't trying to hear nothing a, a black man saying. She didn't. Uh, if it was a white man, she had stopped and uh, listened. But if it was a young black man in his twenties, in his twenties or something, she ain't trying to hear nothing he's saying. So you know what I'm saying? That's when the Most High. That's the reason why the Most High only comes to you once or twice, and he done with you. So now you got to figure it out. So now who go, the the voice that these people was hearing is Satan. That's why you look at their fruit. He said, you know a man by his fruit. You know what I'm saying? This is how you get wisdom. You get wisdom out of these scriptures. You can't get wisdom nowhere else in life but through these scriptures. This is how I receive my wisdom, by reading these scriptures over and over and over, studying lessons, making lessons. This is the only way you'll get wisdom. You know what I'm saying? This, these scriptures, some spiritual way, teach you how to do everything on earth. How to use this planet, you know? Yeah. Not the worldly stuff, but how to use earth, man. Spiritually, these this what these scriptures do, mm -hmm. and people don't understand that, mm -hmm. but they see a change, you know, in yeah. us. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But they don't understand it, and then we try to tell these people the truth. They don't want to hear it, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Let read. Uh, let's finish that on Matthew, Matthew chapter seven, and start at fifteen. Matthew seven and fifteen. Beware. A false prophet. So you got to be aware of false prophets. These false prophets fill these churches because they've been leading us for what, over 400 years over. You know what I'm saying? In the churches and stuff like that. And where have it got us? Nowhere. And they would tell us that the law is done away with. So their churches is full of homosexuals. And what most, the Most High said is abomination. Mm -hmm. Their church is full of prostitutes. Mm -hmm. That's an abomination. Mm -hmm. These is uh, 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 false prophets, man. That's right. If somebody comes to you and tell you, brother, you don't have to keep the laws. Just believe, and that's all you got to do. Mm -hmm. And you go out there and kill somebody, and you tell the most high, I believe. Then you go out there and sell drugs. Then you be like, I believe. You, do, you go out there and do all this wickedness and say, I believe. Well, So what is that doing to our community? Mm -hmm. It's destroying us. De definitely. You know what I'm saying? Because you lying to us. These false prophets lying to us, talking about all you got to do is believe. But not under, not uh, giving us an understanding of what believe is. Mm -hmm. So Rock thirty two and twenty four, First mm -hmm. John five and ten. So you believe is an action, man. Believe is not just oh you just believe and you say I believe. Mm -hmm. He said you a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. What's that? Matthew five seventeen. He said you a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. You honor me with your uh, lips, but your uh, uh, heart far your heart me. is far from me, mm -hmm. man. Speaking the uh, the commandments of man. That's right. Man, come on, man. You, these churches is garbage, man. They lead everybody to hell. Yeah. And I will see y'all in the pit because I'm striving to get to the kingdom.
I'm, not, I'm going to the kingdom, man. Go ahead. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Mm -hmm. Do men gather grapes of thorns? You should know them by their fruit. What's their fruit? In none of these people in them churches change. They're all That's fools. Right. They're all running to take a shot. Mm -hmm. Whatever the government tells them to do, they're doing it. Mm -hmm. There's never homosexuals up in there. You, this fool adulterers. taking adulterers. You taking all these people money, you're taking their last dime. They mm -hmm. broke. Mm -hmm. hmm? yeah. Adulterers, murderers, yeah. all type of wicked people, drug dealers, everything. None of them changed their life. But you saying come as you are. Yeah. To, that, didn't Satan, Satan say that? Satan said that. That's in the book of the uh, of the dead. That's in Satan book. Come yeah. as you are, do as you will. <laughs> That's Satan. That's why Satan cut out of the kingdom. Have That's you. why he got kicked out of the kingdom yeah. with heck of wicked angels because he wanted to do his will, right? Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Having all kind of funerals inside the churches right. and all kind of wicked people and stuff. And if you have a funeral in a church, the church is unclean. Yeah. They don't ever know how to do. The, they don't ever know how to do the purification. Offering to cleanse the church. Ain't going no unclean church. That's why Yahweh said, let the dead bury the dead, man. You walk in that church, man, you unclean. You walk down the street, get hit by a car, get shot or whatever. You got to keep the most high protection on you, right? When you go into these places, these temples, these funerals, you got to do a purification offering. Offering. You got to have water and hyssop. You know what I'm saying? You gotta sprinkle it. You gotta sprinkle it on every vessel, man. We know this, man, because we study the scriptures, Third man. Day, seven days. Yeah, and then you gonna be if any dead body touch any vessel, you unclean seven days, man. The third day you gotta do a purification offer. The seventh day you gotta do a purification offer. It's done with after seven days. If not, you in sin, man. Nobody listen to these fools. Nobody don't care about what these dumb fools uh, uh, talk about. You know what I'm saying? Screw them, man. If these fools don't keep the laws of the Most High, they go perish. Mm -hmm. Pretty soon, it's going to be a family of the word and people ain't going to be bringing this word out no more. Mm -hmm. People, uh, uh, pretty soon, people ain't going to be so uh, uh, willing and pleasing to give you this word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's, that's, when, that's when that real voice of the most high, they ain't going to be able to hear it no more. Right, 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 right. Right now, you can hear, like you said, it's in, in the dream, like Job said, but it's also on the streets with the brothers bringing it out. Right. At some point, that's going to cease to exist. Right, like right, you said, right. family of the word. Right, right. All Jacob's that. trouble Damn. coming. And people not gonna know what to do. What to do? Just imagine if an EMP attack hit, and we had blackout. Mm -hmm. We don't have no power. At first, when I was talking about this, like three, four years ago, people thought I was crazy. But everything starting to come to uh, tuition, right? Mm -hmm. Everything starting to come true. You know what I'm saying? So what they gonna do now? I'm telling people, oh, you gotta prepare. You gotta get this. Ah, man, you ain't gotta get that. Uh, the government gonna save us. I'm <laughs> like, man, you gotta read. You gotta learn your history. You know what I'm saying? About the Great Depression and stuff like that. Oh, that's old times. That would never happen now. I'm like, these people was crazy. They, man, the, uh, the uh, uh, Esau, he is a genie or something. Esau is a wizard, genie or something because he played a trick on black folks that's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. He played a trick on black folks that's unbelievable. I don't even know how, how he did what he did to get us to be dependents on the government and now we don't even know how to raise cattle, don't know how to do nothing. We don't know how to live on our, on our own. So if they shut down these markets, it's a wrap. People will start dying at the millions. Yeah. But you go to these other countries, they grow their own food. They got cattle. They got, even if they heck of poor, mm -hmm. they got uh, sheep. They got cows. They grow their own food and live in a nice little house. And they don't ever depend on the government. Mm -hmm. The government got to poison them with all type of fucking chemicals or biological warfare to kill them off because they, they so healthy. They live so long because they're not eating all the GMOs that we eat. Mm -hmm. We wonder why we catching cancer and all this stuff. You go over there to a different country, they don't even know what cancer is. You feel me? So if this country shut down, right, the, uh, the first thing that's going to happen, you're going to have riots. We only uh, get food. Uh, we, I think the stores only have like a three-day supply of food. If they stop bringing in food three days, they, uh, uh, these people, when they start looting these stores and stuff, right, they're going to take everything at the store. There'll be nothing up in there. Mm -hmm. Then people start going house to house, looting houses. But nobody never wanted to prepare. Mm -hmm. Nobody wanted to prepare for this. So people going to be dying at a high rate because they wasn't ready. Uh, yeah. And the most high warned us. The most high is not coming. We, is, we going into Jacob's trouble. The most high is not coming. He didn't come. During the time when uh, 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 we went to uh, uh, Egypt, he told us to prepare. 
He can't think to Joshua in a dream and told him to prepare, man. Mm -hmm. And he telling us to prepare now. He ain't coming. But I show you what we wait for when he do come. But he ain't coming no time soon. You know what I'm saying? We got to go come through. Come Jacob's trouble. Right. But this is what we uh, 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 wait for right here in Revelations 11 and 12. This is what we wait for. And this is going to be at the end. But you got to remember in 24, in Matthew 24, the Most High said, all these things must happen before the end comes. Mm -hmm. So all these rumors of wars and all this destruction that's mm -hmm. going on right now, it has to happen. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Revelation 11 and 12. Right. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying... They heard the great voice from heaven. Why? Because it was keeping the laws, right? Saying unto them, come up hither. The Most High told the people, right? They heard a great voice from heaven telling the people, come up hither. You know? This is a vision that people have. Go ahead. And they ascended up. to. And they ascended. They was taken from the land from off of earth up to the kingdom. To heaven in a cloud. And their enemies beheld them. Yeah, the enemies was pissed off. So did the enemies go up? No. No. They looking like, what? And then, boom. <laughs> and they all died. Wow. And we descended back and replenished the earth. Wow. All right. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's, that's one of the most beautiful scriptures. Read that one more time. That's beautiful. And this is what we all waited for. This is the reason why we keep the laws. Mm -hmm. So we can descend up to heaven so we can be saved, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why we're not playing around with these people. We don't care what these people talk about. The laws are done away with. Mm -hmm. We in the last days. We got to figure out how to uh, please the most high. Right. right? And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in the cloud. And their enemies beheld them. Right. That's beautiful. That's what we want. Mm -hmm. Our enemies will be looking up like, why not me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's your turn to, to die. It's your turn to go into slavery. You, you feel me? Not right, right, right. This is another beautiful one too I like. Is uh, go to Job 33. Let's start at 22 verse 27. Yeah, this is what we want too. We got to have somebody to plead our case. You know what I'm saying? You will have an inkhorn angel. He will be watching. He's watching everything you do right now, right? He's jotting down everything that you do. You know Job 33. And 22 to 27. 22. Yeah, his soul draweth near unto the grave. Right, so your soul drawing near to the grave. You're getting ready to die. We all going to die, right? In his life to the destroyers. Right, in your life to the destroyer. You dead. If there be a messenger with him. So this the inkhorn, the messenger. It's a messenger with you. If there's one with you, then you know you're good. Go ahead. An interpreter. An interpreter. Everything that was written down, he gonna interpret it for you. He gonna plead your case, man. One among a thousand. Right. To show unto man. So he's pleading your case one among a thousand. He's showing it to all the angels that's in the kingdom. They plead your case to see if you worthy to be with the living. We trying to get over there with the living. We tired to be down here with the dead. So man, we trying to get over there with the living. That's why death is a beautiful thing. Right. We're not supposed to be tripping off when people uh, die. Because this is what we want right here, man. To show unto man his uprightness. To show up to man. He will show unto man all the angels. He will show to, to the son of man. He will show to everybody that's in the land of the living your uprightness if you was righteous. Mm -hmm. So your uprightness is you keeping the laws, right? Go ahead. Then he is gracious unto him. Yep. He. Who's the he? Yahweh is gracious unto you. Because that angel, he went through your whole life da -da 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 -da, and found something, right? What did he find? And said, deliver him from going down to the pit. Deliver me from going down to the pit, man. I have found a ransom. What's a ransom? He found an atonement, man. Right. What's an atonement for your sins? That's right. what he found. He looked through your whole life. like da -da 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 right. Boom, we got one. I got a ransom. I found a totally for, for his sins. Mm -hmm. All these generations, he's been wicked, but this one generation right here is a torment for all his sins, man. He can get up in this thing. That's mm -hmm. what we're trying to do, right? His flesh shall be fresher than a child. His flesh gonna be fresher than a child, like Rami's. Smell <laughs> heck of fresh. You know? That's how we wanna be, be renewed. <laughs> you know, get rid of these old tired bodies. Mm -hmm. 
He shall return to the days of his youth. You're going to return to the day of your youth. I'm going to have my strength back. Then I'm going to be able to keep up with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> he shall pray unto Yahweh. Right. And he will be favorable unto him. Right. And he shall see his face with joy. Right. For he will render unto man his righteousness. Right. That's what we want, man. That's this. Uh, 27? Yeah, the last one. He looked unto upon man. And if any say, I have sinned and perverted that which was right, and it profited. All you have to do is tell the truth. Mm -hmm. You'd be like, man, I sinned, man, I messed up, man, I did what was wrong, and I know I was wrong, and I asked for your forgiveness, man. Right? And it profited me not, he will deliver his soul from going to the pit. pit. Right, he will deliver your soul. You tell him the truth, now you strive. So, right there is telling you to repent. Mm -hmm. So, you repent, now you strive to keep his commandments, mm -hmm. he will deliver you from the pit. And his life shall see the light. And your life will see. See the light, man. That's what we're waiting for, man. We're trying to get up out of here. It's almost time, though, but it's not quite time. Wow. Yep. Yep. And that's beautiful, man. That's it beautiful. is beautiful. Yep. And that's it on the voice of Yahweh.